I have been expelled from the British Orthodontic Society. The decision was unanimous, and to quote a paragraph from the decision, having listened to what you had to say, and having considered the matter in full, the unanimous decision of the board is that, in our opinion, your conduct is contrary to the interests of the society. It is the board's opinion that your social media campaign has made a number of statements which have misled or have the potential to mislead patients and the public. The board considers that your actions through your social media campaign constitute a potential risk to patients, both physical and psychological, that are inconsistent with the aims, the society's aims of maintaining and improving professional standards to improve the quality of patient care. Now, I really didn't say much at the hearing. I didn't seek to defend myself in any detail. As I said, that I couldn't fully engage without a meaningful debate on the cause of crooked teeth. I mean, many of you may have seen my statement. There's also a full transcript of what was said at the meeting, and there'll be a link below at the bottom. Um, <clears throat> now, they claim that me asking for this was a smokescreen, which, uh, yeah, seems a little bit strange, but there we go. They are welcome to have their opinion. Now, they saw, all went on to say that they felt the social media campaign that I'd run seems to demonstrate an unhealthy obsession with publicity to the detriment of patients. Now, I, I, the feedback I get and what I believe is that we are helping patients and we're helping the patients a lot. You know, there's a lot of people who give me the feedback that I seem to be helping them. Um, and they, I've clearly I've been holding back you know this meeting happened a little while ago and I got this decision a while ago but I've been holding back because I don't want to upset my legal team that um well there was quite I'll, I'll make a quote from what they said he said I have of course indicated to you on several occasions that your agenda is very different from that of my normal clients who typically want to veer away from trouble and with a view to re-establishing a quiet life. So most of them want no publicity at all, and I want the maximum publicity. In my opinion, my father was treated shockingly badly, um, and unfairly. Um, now, I don't want to be taken into a dark corner and mugged quietly, metaphorically, as I feel he was. Um, and I think it was a shame, because there was, you know, I, I don't, I want people to know what's going on. Um, and I, I fundamentally believe in open process and open science. And as that, I'm gonna put as much information as I can online for you, the beneficiaries of the British Orthodox Society, you know, current and future patients, to make your own decisions. You know, you make this decide choice. Um, there's, there's nothing in this letter, that, there's nothing, confidential about what I've said. It's not a um, he said this and she said that. It's clear for everyone to see. Um, and I want to make it completely open. There, I'm going to put underneath this um, links to where you can find the um, outcome letter. So the letter that the British Orthodontic Society have written to me. I'll, they also did a transcript of the meeting, so I'll put a transcript of the meeting there that you can read, and you can read what, who said what, when. You can, I'll put down the original allegation documents here, the original document that the British Orthodontics have sent to me, and I believe now they've sent it on to the General Dental Council. So I'm risking my career here, when I could have just taken those videos down. But I, I believe in open science. And I believe we're going to, we've got to get somewhere. And I believe in getting my father some recognition before he loses his marbles because of what he's given but also now that transcript's quite difficult to understand or follow go to the links of so i'll put a, i've transcribed that document already so i've transcribed it 
um, using a machine, so there may be inaccuracies. And then I've gone and put the physical links. So if you really want to understand what's going on, uh, what the he said, what what they've had a go at me, you can go and you can click on all the links. The only one that's not relevant is the the baby led weaning one, as I call it, where I'm talking about preventing treatment. It's just not my area, and I, I don't want to be waylaid into that area. So it's best to stay clear of that. I've taken that video down. It's not an issue now. Um, um, I'll also put up the document where I'm appealing to the British Orthodontic Society. So this is getting you all up to date. So you're right up to the current trend of what's happening at the moment. So I want to appeal. I know that the British Orthodontic Society doesn't have a method in their constitution constitution for an appeal so i've suggested that they go to the charities commission and get an opinion or get and i recommend in this situation you would normally want someone independent i'm happy to anyone independent to look at what's going on and then of course i'm also going to put a link down to the chair of a link to show you who the chair and the board of trustees are because you know i want this to be open science i don't want this to be you know anyone to be hiding in what they're saying it's all clear it's all open it was a unanimous decision so i'm pushing for open science i'm pushing for the truth i clearly want to debate on why teeth are crooked that's what i always wanted that's what i wanted a decade ago and I find myself in a crazy situation where I can't answer these allegations unless we have a debate. You know, we're speaking a different language. Half the research that's been produced, I think, would be invalidated by me demonstrating that malocclusion is of predominantly environmental origin and then demonstrating what the pathological process is and how irrelevant most of cephalometric normals and blah 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 it would bring down the house of cards that i believe has been built as a scientist as a science and i think that's <coughs> excuse me i think that's necessary it's it's my it's it's my defense and i'm i'm, I'm entitled to a fair defense and so here the two come together what i've been asking for 10 years and my fair defense clearly i'll also put the link down for the petition i think that if you're going to sit here and ask what can you do to help sign the petition the petition's about making facial growth a health priority it, it has to be if we're going to teach our kids to brush their teeth we should be teaching them to breathe through their nose eat with the mouth clip closed and possibly even sit up and parents should know that Anyway, listen, thank you very much. I've really, I'm really, really gives me hope and everything else when I see your comments, when I see how many people watch these videos and let's get some open science. Listen, I'm trying to help you and I'd like you to help me. Thank you very much.